radius of a circle formed by a plane four centimeters from the all right so this is that diagram that we talked about this red is a sphere so you have to imagine that it's a three-dimensional shape and then we're going to take a cross section of it and cut it with that plane right there forms a cord and that cord is actually a circle remember if we cut the top off and then looked at it we would see a circle right there um, so I'm trying to find the radius of that circle so really I want to find half of that purple line right there so let's call that R just wrote X so I'm gonna call it X um, four centimeters from the center all right so this is the center of the sphere and that distance right there is four and the sphere has a diameter See where I drew that? Of 10, which means the radius of that sphere is five. So that sets me up with a nice little image. This is a three, four, five triangle. It's a Pythagorean triple, but we'll go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem, just to make sure everybody's comfortable here. X squared, four squared, Uh, 25 minus 16 is 9, so x equals 3. Now again, it's asking for the radius, so all I need is that 3. If it asks for the diameter, I would need to double that 3. Number 19. A chord uh, 18 centimeters long is perpendicular to the radius of a circle. The distance. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and draw this. We really want to draw a picture here. Uh, trying to do something like this and keep it in our heads is tricky to say the least. All right, I'll give myself a circle to work with. Uh, we've got a cord. Draw that cord right there. It's 18 centimeters long. It's perpendicular to the radius of a circle. All right, so now I'm going to draw the radius of that circle. Um, the distance from the intersection of the cord and the radius to the outer end of the radius is three. That's, that's some thinking right there. Distance from the intersection of the cord and the radius to the outer end of the radius. So this right here, that's the three right up there. From the blue line to the purple edge is three. Find the length of the radius. Okay, draw a picture, done. All right, I'm gonna give myself one more piece of this picture. I'll draw one more right here, and I'm gonna call that R. Uh, since I know this chord is 18, I actually know that this piece of it is nine. All right, um, if we zoom in on just this right triangle right here, I know the green line is R, the blue is nine, and the red is, the whole red is R, but this little piece of the red right here, is R minus three. Now it lets me set it up. One unknown R, and I can use Pythagorean theorem. Nine squared plus R minus three squared equals R squared. It's gonna be some really nice algebra that happens here. Nine squared is 81. R minus three squared is not R squared plus nine or R squared minus nine. No, 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 no. You need to square this whole thing. So that means you've got to think about this as R minus three times R minus three. Maybe you distribute, maybe you square, whatever you use to multiply this out. You're going to end up with R squared minus six R plus nine equals R squared. I'm going to move this minus six R over to this side by adding it to both sides. So the 81 stays there. The R squareds cancel out. Plus nine equals six R. So we've got 90 equals six R. So all I gotta do is divide by six. So that's 15 if I'm doing my math right. So R equals 15. Since R is the radius, that is it. Number 20. And the length of a chord that is three. All right, 
same picture, right? We're really getting used to this picture. Here's the circle. Here's the cord. The cord is three centimeters away and the radius of the circle is nine. Classic picture, right? And we're trying to find the length of the cord. We can find this piece of the cord and then double it. Since it's perpendicular to a radius, the red line, even though I didn't finish the red line, it is a radius. Um, what's that gonna do? Three squared plus x squared equals nine squared. X squared equals 81 minus nine. X squared equals 72. X equals root 72. This is the place where we wanna simplify the square root. It's got a factor of nine. Nine times eight, ooh, wait, it's got 36. 36 times two. So X equals six root two. And then I double it because I want the whole of the green line, I think, yep, the chord. And so X equals 12 root two. That's my answer there. 21. Chord 16 centimeters long from the 15 centimeters from the center. Oh my goodness, same picture, right? All right, so I'm gonna draw the picture. There's the circle. There's the chord. There's the distance to the center. And there's the radius, right? All right, the chord is 16, which means this piece of the, I wrote the 16, I didn't want to write the 16. The chord is 16, which makes this piece of it eight. There we go. 15 centimeters, so 15 for the green, not drawn to scale. Um, and what is the radius? So there's R. All right, that right there. Eight. Eight squared, 15 squared equals R squared. We got 64 plus 225 equals R squared. 289 equals R squared. Oh, 289 is a nice one, I think. Yep, 17. So 17 equals R.